I'm going to play a game of solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong. If you haven't downloaded the player reference yet, there's a link below the video. This way you can follow along for scoring. This is a competitive game. You want to win quick, but you also want to look at opportunities for a high scoring hand. Let's see what happens in this game. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles are out next to these risers that are mixed and built into walls. That way we can keep an eye on the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles. East will get 14, South, West, and North will get 13 each. Everybody has their tiles. We're going to say that it is the East round and we need a one fawn minimum. A fawn is a scoring element. If you need the player reference, there's a link below the video. That way you can follow along. Let's see what we can do for East. Look at that. We have a Pong of South. It is the East round and this is East, so we're not going to get score for that, but it can help us get to a half flush with dots. I would throw these first. We do have a flower. This is a number two flower, so that's not going to help us with score, but we will get a replacement. White dragon, that's going to help. We could maybe Pung, three of a kind. That would be a, a fawn all by itself. With a half flush, that's three. This would be a four fawn hand. Let's see if we can get them to that half flush. We could potentially chow here, chow here. A chow's three in a sequence. Here's a Pung. We could maybe Pung and then pair up or draw in some more dots, but I would get rid of these first. That's a pretty nice start to a half flush, I think. Let's see what we can do for South. We have a pair of dragons and a pair of east wind. We have a one flower. That's not their flower. They're a number two flower, but we can at least get a replacement. Whoa, look at that. Pair, pair, pair. Those are honors, winds and dragons. Wind of the round here. This is north, so that's this seat. We could still maybe get to all pung or half flush because of these pairs. These are all isolated. So maybe since there's a potential chow here, I think what I would do I would discard these two first. We could potentially pung, 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 chow, pair. We'll see what happens. Any pung of dragons is a fawn. Pung of the wind of the round is a fawn. We'll see what happens. Let's see what we can do for west. We have three pair in here. Two crack, five crack, nine dot. We do have a two flower. This is not their seat. This is seat three. So we won't get score for that, but we get a replacement. Oh, west. Okay. If we pung that, that's their seat. East, south, west. That would be a fawn. If you get a pung or three of a kind of your seat wind, you get score for that. A fawn. So let's try for all Pung, all three of a kind. We need one more pair to get really comfortable. But potentially we could Pung each of these pairs and be left with any one of these for our pair. So let's see what happens. And we can look and see now what we can do for North.
They have no flowers, which is one fawn for now. The minute you draw a flower, that goes away. Because we have an equal number of two suits, I think we could maybe play either all chow or pair up and play all pung. All chow is a one fawn hand, so we'll have to see what happens here. I think what I would do though is hold number tiles and shoot to pair up or chow and get rid of these right away. Single honors are not helpful in this particular situation with number tiles. All right, we're gonna start by discarding for east. Let's discard the one crack. I'm not gonna have room, I gotta move this over. There we go, that's better. Gotta have room for discards. I'm gonna discard to the right in rows of six. Okay, here we go. We're gonna draw if nobody can take that one crack and nobody can take it, so here we go. One dot. All right, one, two, three, there's a chow. Let's discard that one crack. And now we can draw here. Three crack. Okay, we need to pair up though. We want to pung, pung here, pung, 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 pung. So let's, let's discard this two dot. And we can draw. Nobody can take it. Now you might think, why not chow it? You can only chow from the player on your left. This player is across from this player. So we need to draw. Pair it up. Any pung of dragons is a fawn. We're gonna try to pung there. Let's go for all pung here if we can. Let's go ahead and discard the four crack. And draw down here. Again, you cannot chow. Here's a three, five, two, three. You cannot chow from anyone but the player on your left. Seven, bam. We want, I think, dots or to pair up. Let's discard that seven crack. Nobody can take a seven crack, so we're gonna draw. Six, bam. Okay, let's discard this nine crack. Sometimes it's good to get rid of honors and terminals early if you're not gonna use them. Terminals are ones and nines because they're typically of greater value in some shapes. Let's draw. South. That's a single honor. Let's get rid of this nine bam. That's a terminal and we can draw here. Nine dot. We have a pair here, here, here. Five, six, seven, let's discard the nine dot. We're gonna pung. You can skip turns when you pung. So if you claim a discard to make an exposure, then you discard. So let's discard the eight bam. And we're gonna draw here. Oh, nine dot, we just discarded that. That could have been a potential pung, let's draw. Ooh, there we go, there's a pair. So we have one pair here, a pung, a pair. Let's, let's see here, potential chow or 
pair. You always have to have a pair. Let's discard the three, ma'am. It's isolated. Let's draw. Can't chow from the player across from you. Nine, ma'am. Let's discard this four crack. Here. We have a pung of nine dots out. We're gonna try maybe for all pung. So we don't wanna chow. That would drive the score down by three if you mix suits with pungs and chows. So let's hang tight and try to pair up. Seven dot, not helpful. So we wanna throw what is out if we can. In this case, all these are fresh tiles. This is the west seat. Let's go ahead and discard Actually, let's discard the seven dot. Maybe we can get to. Actually, we have. Let's put that back. We're going to discard the south because we have a pung of nine dots out. So we can't really go for half flush now because we've committed with a pung of nine dots. I think we need to pair up here. Let's draw here now. This player could Kong. For Hong Kong Mahjong, you don't get any extra score for a Kong, but in some circles, you get immediate payout of some kind. And since we're playing solitaire, there, there's no immediate payout. We're just going to let it go and stay concealed. We're going to draw. Five dot. We pair it up. Pair, 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 pair. Those can all be potential pungs. So let's go ahead and discard the one bam. Since it's the east wind of the round, if we pair up, we could get score for that. So we'll hold that for just a little bit. You don't want to hold on to those winds, though, especially if they're of value for long. We're heading into the end of the second wall so going into the third wall we might consider discarding that halfway through the third wall if we don't pair up so let's draw here paired up so now there's two pair here we could go ahead and discard these because we can potentially pung here here and here so let's go ahead and discard the seven dot and draw here four crack drawing here three flower they just got their own flower one bam we can discard that and draw here we're looking to pung. Don't be tempted to chow if you're paired up. All pung is three fawn, which is decent score. Oh, look at we paired up that east. So now we have one, two, three, four, five pair. If we get one more pair, we could maybe play seven pair. One of the exceptions to the four sets and a pair rule is that you can play seven unique pair. If we pair up in here, we could maybe play seven pair. So let's discard the seven dots since it's already been thrown. If you're going for seven pair, you want to discard tiles that are already out. We just finished the second wall. Now we're going into the third wall, which is the middle game. This is when you want to consider discarding risky tiles if you don't have them paired up. Let's draw five dot. We want to potentially pung here, all here. Let's discard the red dragon since it's a single honor. We're going to pung up here, pung. And that is going to be one fawn all by itself. 
We're going to maybe pung here, here. Let's discard the six dot. And draw here. We want to pung. So don't be tempted to chow if you're going to play a half flesh. Six crack. And nobody can take it, so we're going to draw. North, they got a pung. Right there, pung. If you draw into a pung, just stay concealed. You don't need to declare it. Let's discard that nine, bam. And nobody can take it, so we're going to draw. Seven crack. The seven dot has been thrown, so let's discard that. We're going to draw. Four bam. So we need to look and see what's been thrown. Three bams out. Let's throw that. We want to pair up. Pung the pairs here and pair up. We're going to draw. Two bam. So there's help with our half flesh. Let's discard the six dot and draw. Eight dot. We pair it up. Let's discard six bam. Six bam. Pung. So we're going to indicate this player discarding. So now we can discard five dot. And we're going to pung. You turn the tile for the player who discarded it. In this case, the player to the left. Or is that the right? Let's see here. If I'm sitting at north. Northeast. There we go. So we're going to discard. And at this stage of the game, it's kind of arbitrary. Let's throw the two bam. We need to pung in there. Okay, can't do anything with a single tile. You cannot pick up a single tile for a pair. You, you have to draw it yourself. So let's draw. Oh, white dragon. There's a pung. There's a pung and a pair. So we can discard maybe this three dot. Nobody can take it. Now, this player technically could, but why break a chow to make a chow? That would leave an isolated three. I think we should draw. Nine crack. Nobody can take that, so we're going to draw. Eight bam. So let's just see what's out. We want to pair up. So there's, let's see... There's a seven crack out. There's an eight bam out too. Let's discard the seven crack. We're gonna draw one bam. There are two out. That's a good discard. We're gonna draw seven bam. There's another pung, three concealed pungs. We're gonna discard the four dot and they're ready to win on a two bam. There's one two bam out right now. Let's draw. Four flower. They're not gonna get score for that, but they will get a replacement. One crack, that's a good discard. We're gonna draw. Six crack, that's not helpful. Let's discard the eight bam. It's already out. We need to pair up or pung. We need to pung here and here and here. And then pair up these isolated tiles. Let's draw. One flower. So they just lost their no flower fawn. They got a one flower. This is seat four. So they lost a fawn just now. Six crack. We'll discard that. We're going to draw. Three bam. Oh, shoot. Okay, so if we 
right now we have a setup here for all pung which is three fawn and a half flesh which is another three fawn that's six fawn plus a dragon pung is seven fawn i was thinking that we could maybe discard the seven bam and be ready on a one bam or a four bam being ready to, waiting on a chow with two tiles would be you might think better but there's already three one bams out so we would be waiting on a four bam most likely so i think i would rather keep the all pung half flush dragon pung potential there so i would discard these so one of them let's see we have a three bam out two three bams and a two bam so let's throw the three bam we're still waiting on a two bam to win we're going to draw here four bam there are two eight bams out so let's discard that we're going to draw here eight dot eight dot four bam five bam none of these are out six crack is out let's throw that we want a pung so having mixed suits is okay so let's see six crack six crack we're gonna draw nine bam that's been thrown we're gonna draw now for east north yeah we don't want to be waiting on an honor let's discard the north people hold the honors if we held that for a pair we would maybe never get it now because we're playing solitaire i'm not going to kong that but if you're playing with other people you might consider konging which is a four of a kind and then you would get a replacement tile because kongs are counted as three so we're going to draw one dot we paired up nice we're going to discard the four bam okay so we need to pung there is a pung we need to pung here 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 or chow it doesn't matter whatever comes first half flush maybe dragon pung or wind of the round so let's draw four crack look at that i probably leapt a little quick on that nine dot this could have been a nice setup for a half flush. Let's discard the eight dot. All these are not out. Actually, that four crack was out. But once you discard, your discard's down and you're done. So we're going to pung for south. And now we'll discard, let's see here, the one dot. Because here we have a chow and we're, we have two pair here, we could win on either a green dragon or an east. That's called a double weight. So let's discard that one dot. We're ready to win on a dragon pung or wind of the round pung. Either one will bring score. We're going to draw. A bam, that's out. Fourth one down. We're going to draw. Five crack. We'll discard that. And that is a pung right here, west. We're gonna pung it. And we're gonna discard now. We need another pair in here. Let's get rid of that four crack, because that's already out. We're gonna draw seven crack, that's out. Drawing four east west let's discard the west get rid of those winds we're heading into the end of the third wall so now here we're going to pung so when the player across from you discards you indicate it like that and we're going to discard a three crack we're going to draw here one bam, that's already out. All of them are out now. Let's draw two bam to win. White dragon, we conged. So 
This is a concealed Kong, so you can show it like that, that it was in your hand. And we'll get a replacement towel from the back of the wall. Four BAM. Now, let's look and see what's out. There's one two BAM out and one four BAM out. There are four one BAMs out, so the likelihood of someone needing the two BAM is going to be less than the four. Because a four, you can do chows, two, three, four, three, four, five, four, five, six, versus this is closer on the edge. Maybe someone will be more likely to discard a two BAM. Let's draw. Four BAM. Nobody can take it. Seven BAM. Let's discard. They're ready to win. Seven BAM. We're going to stay concealed. Drawing. Oh, here. Three BAM. Okay, this is West. They have a pung of their seat. Let's mahjong because we have a chow and a pear. They have a pung of their seat, which is a fawn right here. And then they have their own flower. That's two fawn. We have a one fawn minimum, which qualifies. We're heading into the end of the middle game there. So since they have their seat, and a Pung of the West win, which is their seat, that's two fawn. Now they did give up three fawn by declaring a self-picked win with this chow. If this had been a Pung, they would have gotten an additional three fawn. Four self-pick. Everybody pays double. So they would get two fawn here and here, their own flower and their seat. So they would get 500 double payment though from the other players because they picked it themselves. So they would get 1000 from each player. fawn which is pretty low scoring but only the winner gets paid this player was ready to win on a two bam ready to win on an east or a green this player was ready to pong but they're kind of blocking each other here with their east I hope that gave you a good idea of what it's like to play Hong Kong Mahjong. Only the winner gets paid. So if that means sacrificing a big hand for a quick win, go for it. Because if you wait to pair up, for example, with that chow, someone may beat you. I mean, there were two players ready to win. So that sacrifice was worth it. Only the winner gets paid. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell when you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.